Have you ever created a DAX expression and implemented it both as a measure and as a calculated column and got different results? Well, in this video, I'll explain why that happens and what you can do about it. On my canvas, I've got a table visualization and I'm looking at my customer table and I've pulled in the customer account reference and the balance. I've created a calculated column called column sum balance and it's a very simple expression, which is the sum of the customer balance. If I add that now to my visualization, what you can see straight away is that the column is the same for every single row. This may be surprising to you because you may think that since it's a calculated column, there's a row context present here and the expression will only see the values that exist in each particular row as it evaluates row by row. But the function we're using here is sum, which is an aggregation function, and aggregation functions will ignore the row context. So it ignores the row context, sees all of the balances in the table, adds them all up, and row by row it puts that value into every single row in the table. Now let's see what happens if we put exactly the same formula into a measure. Well, I've done that here with a measure called measure sum balance, and we can verify that the formula is exactly the same. Now if we take a look at that in our table, we can see that our measure sum balance figure actually matches the balance value in each row of the table. In other words, it gives a different result to the column sum balance. The only logical explanation is that it must be operating under a different context. If the formula is the same and it delivers a different answer, then the formula must be looking at a different set of data, and therefore, in this case, it must be looking at the data under a different context. What's happening is that a measure will operate under a filter context by default. And the filter context here, I don't have any external filters operating on my table, but since we have a table visualization and we've got the customer account reference in every single row of the table, this customer account reference will be acting as a filter context for each row for the evaluation of my measure. So as the measure evaluates the result for each row of the table, in the table visualization, it is filtered by the effect of this customer account reference, and the only values for balance that it can see is the figure in that particular row, and it returns that value. The reason why the measure then returns this is, is it's acting under a filter context instead of a row context. Now, what if we take a calculated column and wrap around that the function calculate? This time we've got exactly the same function, sum of customer balance. We've wrapped the function calculate around it. We haven't added any additional filters or anything. It's just a pure function calculate. And let's see what that does to our result. What we can see is that our new calculated column has now returned exactly the same value as our measure. And the reason for this is that one of the features of the function calculate is that it transitions a row context to a filter context. 